Humbucker Lover. Uh, discovering your uh, tone, uh, part seven. Uh, in the last uh, series on number six, we done uh, we done this guitar with a bunch of pedals, and I wanted to let you all know. Uh, I was talking about what these pickups are. These pickups are uh, Dragonfire, and made by TNT, and these are wound to 8.3 on the neck and 16.9 on the bridge. So that's what they're wound to. Uh, I know we got a good one. They're uh, wound really high. They're they're uh, actually wound a little bit higher than the the Mick Thompson uh, signature series. That's why you get that. Even on clean, you get that little bit of a grunt to it. But anyway, uh, but that's what they're wound to. I wanted everybody to know because I promised I would tell what they was wound to. So uh, anyway, we're using the Marshall MG100, uh, same as usual. We got the external effects on, uh, everything's set. You know, it's all clean. It's ready to be run through some of the pedals. And I'm gonna show you two more pedals. And, well, actually three more pedals in this series on the pedals on the, uh, the Ibanez. And then uh, after the Ibanez, I'm going to switch to the uh, Gibson SG, the uh, Crescent Moon, it's a 2002 model, but this has got the Crusaders in it and they're wound a little bit, uh, they're not wound as high, and I'll let you hear them, but uh, these are the ones that I've got that's wound, wound the highest of them all, they're, uh, they're, I, I, I like this probably better than any of them, I like the sound of this guitar a lot. So if you want to, Leanne, switch me out, and I'll come over there to the uh, pedals, and we'll get started on the pedals. And we're back. Ooh, magic of YouTube. We're at the pedals. I'll be darned. Look here. Pedals. We got pedals upon pedals upon pedals. And you know what, too? I, what one I haven't hooked up yet is the metal muff. Uh, we might ought to do another series on the metal muff. So that'll be one I'll be adding in. So this will be a longer series on the Ibanez. So, uh, hmm, forgot about the metal muff. So yeah, we need to add that. So the pedal we're working with today is the uh, the the tube drive. Uh, it's a it's a killer pedal. It's a it's a, like I said it's it's a tube drive pedal. So I mean it's it's the mini tube drive pedal, and. Uh, let me turn that down. Uh, I've got everything turned down on it. Uh, we're running clean on there. Uh, everything's working, you know, the way it should. So I'm gonna turn on tube drive, turn it up a little bit. Oh, I dropped my pick. Wouldn't you know it? Party foul. Party foul. <laughs> At least it didn't fall in the hole. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Turn it up a little bit. Turn up over against it.
like the kill switch. Nothing. Love that. Okay, so that's the tube drive. Which you can get a lot of unique sounds out of that. I, I really like this pedal a lot. Uh, that's probably one of my second, to one of my favorite pedals. I, I like it. I like it a lot. So, uh, we'll go to the hexa drive. This is the hexa drive. Let me turn everything down on it. And uh, we'll do this. And then I'm going to show you what the hexa drive sounds like with the tube drive. So we'll turn the hex drive on. Nothing. Let me turn on my kill switch. Turn up the tone a little bit. Level. on it if you want to show how it is Leanne. The tack's kind of far. It's not all the way. Right there's all the way. But I like putting it on the L for the level. That's kind of a marker for me. That way I know where I'm at. Everything else is pretty much the way I like it set. And so uh, this is what the compressor on. Oh yeah. show is the uh, tube drive this pretty much is going to be the rest of this video is pretty much going to be mix and match of pedals and what it what sounds you get out of it and so uh, the next is going to be I'm gonna leave the compressor on I'm going to turn the tube drive on and I'm gonna turn the boost killer on and you'll see what it sounds like I'm gonna turn the tube driver on first play 
the leaks like I normally play. I don't want to bury bury the leaks any because you sound. It, it, if I keep hitting the same leaks, you'll see the difference in sound. Uh, and which I'm not a professional guitar player by any means. I'm not gonna sit here and play you smoke on the water and all that. I'm learning. If you watched the first video, you know that I'm learning to feel my fingers again and do all that. So, but I'm trying to show pedals and I'm trying to show how I discovered my tone before I went into taking lessons and then learning and everything. So I wanted to discover my tone first. Went, went at it backwards, but this is the way I wanted to learn, and so this is how I learned. So here's a tube drive with the boost killer. Turn on the yellow file and then I'll put on my equalizer. Now, listen to this, this sounds pretty weird. sometimes on the on the cores and, and that equalizer makes it pick it up that much better and uh, the equalizer is a great pedal to work with about anything I mean even like uh, I'll put it on the blues driver and I'll put it on the equalizer on that and then
difference is that blues driver, what it does. I mean, the blues driver on normal guitar is not. And, and I think uh, this is this is my thoughts, and, and this is just my thoughts alone. I, I don't I don't know what everybody else thinks that's in the guitar community, which I respect everybody that's in the, the guitar community because I, I learned so much uh, from Eric uh, EVH TV. I, I learned so much from Eric. I learned so much from Philip McKnight. I learned so much from. Uh, Pixie Licks and, and, and all these people and I hold all these Eric and Pixie Licks all up here up real high, you know, and, and this is just my interpretation of how I went to discover my tone. I wanted to find my tone, which was Mick Thompson's tone, to do to learn guitar in. I wanted to find it first before I even took a, my first lesson. So here in the next maybe month or so, after I figure out what's wrong with my neck, I'm going to start taking lessons, and I'm going to video them, and I'm going to come home, play the video, I'm going to take the lesson, and you're going to watch me take the lesson. I'm not going to do a lesson and say, after 15 minutes after my lesson, order this video and you can learn the rest of the song. I'm not doing that. I, if I learn the full song from my teacher, I'm going to teach the full song from my teacher on here and I'm not going to do it to where you order my video series and order this or that I'm going to have a true beginner series on learning the guitar and this true beginner series so far is discovering your tone and uh, I just I wanted to go through these pedals with you uh, there's one more pedal I gotta do actually there's two more pedals I'm gonna do since I'm gonna do the metal muff I might as well hook up the, the little big muff the old the old one and let you hear what it sounds like with these pickups and hook up the metal muff and let you hear what it sounds like with these pickups it sounds a lot like Randy Rhodes uh, with the metal muff hooked up to it so that'll probably be in our next video segment and we're gonna record our next video segment pretty close but uh, I hope you enjoy these videos uh, me and my wife really work hard at this single cool lover uh, aka snot money uh, but uh, we uh we really enjoy recording these and we hope you do too but uh for the ibanez for the pedals for uh my wife we're out of here thanks for enjoying thanks for watching and peace out i appreciate you <laughs>